Hey folks, Cooly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Europe Universalis 4 as the Netherlands. Still fighting over the war of the Dutch conquest of Trent. It only started three years ago, but it feels like it was ages because there's just so much slow speed and pausing here to make sure that nothing really, really bad happens. Um, I'm going to take these guys and I'll consolidate them, move them here. What's our current force limit at? We're well below, and we got some manpower. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, rebuild that. We probably mostly need infantry. We're taking losses in the fights. So we'll go and build a bunch of them. Oops. Like that. And maybe some more cannons, because cannons are always good. Okay. We're all hanging around in Trent, which is not really ideal. Let's go and move here. At least help the siege get flipped a little bit faster, and we'll figure out what we want to do next. Maybe go to Savoy. Uh, see if you can do some colonization. I don't want to pounce on these guys in the mountains, that's for sure. Um, let's leave, uh, let's leave a couple of dudes behind. Maybe even group these guys together. Even though that will lose a general, but I can assign it somewhere else. Um, let's not do that. Ah! I don't think we're gonna get there in time. Nope. Careful here. Uh, no, we do not want to engage in Wallace. Let's see if we can catch these guys, though. I should be able to squash them there well before any reinforcements happen. We're losing some mainland stuff here. Uh, still, we'll bump down our exhaustion a little bit more. How are they feeling overall? They've got no war, uh, war uh, enthusiasm left. Length of war is still a bit there. They were going to reinforce over here, really. Then so shall I. Oh, they changed their mind. All right, jump in. It's fine. Uh, actually, it's a minus two. You know what? I don't want you to reinforce. I don't want to fight you with that penalty. There we go. Now it's fine if you want to keep coming, but you won't. You're going to go there and finish that move, which is great. We're going to desiege that. Uh, you're coming down to Constance. On the 9th, or the 7th, so one more day, actually, they will lock in their move here. It's still happening? Yeah, oh, no, they're going somewhere else. One stance on the 9th, so they haven't moved by the 8th. We can pretty much reinforce there. They're changing their minds the last minute. Nope. Not all of them. There's some pretty low morale guys over there. They've only got a minus one. That's pretty crappy. Oh, come on. Get in there in time. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. There we go. Not entirely the odds I'm looking for. Uh, we'll just take some flat cash right now. But it's actually Austria leading as well, so the war score will be against them, which is nice. Um, and they're reinforcing. Oh, we're going to win. 
Never mind then. Stay there. Cancel that. You guys go there. Bam! Another nine war score. No, it didn't apply against Austria. I don't I don't get it. I don't get this game sometimes. Oh, we need a new divisor. Military one, yeah. Can we get discipline? Discipline is nice. Crush these guys. Good, good, good. Got that. <clears throat> I wonder if the uh, other people who can be pieced out independently. Port or Poland. There we go. Listen, Poland, let's see. I would love to white piece you out. That would be lovely. Get a few people out of there. Not many. But a few. Uh, split these guys up. Go there, reassign a leader there. Actually, if I should be anywhere, and I like the idea of retaking Constance, but I should uh, get into the hills again. You're going to Tyrol on the 18th. They're going to be gone by the time I get there. Good. I don't want to push my luck too much on these crappy fights. Um, we can take the admin power. 34 war score. Can I excommunicate you? No? Okay, I'm good. Oh, we have more than enough cannons. Throw a few over there and still get the full bonus. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep these guys here for now. I'm below 100k manpower. Um... Mostly waiting for reinforcements. I'm going to try to avoid, um, what do you call it? What's that button? Consolidating. I'm going to try to avoid consolidating that unless I'm about to be attacked. Frack. Um, I think the prestige is going to be fine here. Mm, peasants is kind of annoying. And in a sense, puts a clock on what I'm going to do here. Um, detach. I suppose I could attack them, because they're not going to get reinforced, but it's not really happy making. Is that hungry? Getting involved in stuff over here? I guess we better go reinforce, because those are mountains. I don't want something bad happening there. Oh, and there's 50 dudes over here. Yeah, let's finish that fast. Thank you. And then back off to my territory. Drill on 27th. We will get there ahead of time. Good. I mean, I suppose I could split my stacks up again and try to bait them into another attack. It's risky. I still do have the manpower. Again, I just have to remember to consolidate first. I could probably take a 60k in the hills here. Um, I'm not at my force limit. We got we got lots of cannons.
I know we got lots of uh, infantry over here, though, but... Still... Oh. Listen, Hungry. Goodbye. Goodbye, Hungry. You're moving to Treviso. All right, that's fine. Be nice if the, the AI randomly killed these peasants for me. We need a new leader. Um, well, if we did go orangist, we'd still have the status bonus. Let's see. 666! Well, I think we're going to go more status. Oh my god, that's great! 666 leader. They'll focus mostly on admin, which I think is okay. We might actually have to spend some admin at some point here. And let's leave it for now. We probably can't get 100% war score in this battle. Or in this war. I I'm just not sure if I want to spend that much time. I think I'd rather get a short truce, rebuild, and then go in, go at it again. Be interesting to see what happens over here, though. Uh, Quilia, I think, can afford to do that. Let's get some tax for now. Now, do I have claims on bourbon, or is it berry? Uh, the easiest way to do it is go here. Oh, berry and oil and ass. So taking bourbon doesn't actually help that much. Hungry is pieced out. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Well, I lose some of my strength of alliances, but honestly, not that big a deal. Frankly, it's going to burn off some of the negative war score. Length of war, still not there. Also, I could take... Vienna, that would help me gain some extra points, that's true. But right now, I like my sort of general defensive footing that's happening. Oh, this is causing them to move around here to try to kill my single stacks. Hopefully they leave my French stuff alone. Oh, they killed my, uh, my rebels! Thanks, AI, you guys are awesome. By awesome, I mean bad and stupid. Interesting. Looks like I could even jump into Lombardia, but I think that would be a mistake. Definitely a mistake. Go back over here. Um, did I ever move anyone over here? Or are they just standing on a boat? Oh, right, because of their blockade. That's what it was. Like, we could have maybe gotten a few war score points over there. Uh, we definitely don't want to let them de-siege anything. Attach a, a basic siege, and let's go and finish the places where I've got claims. We may need to peace out soon just to get that. And then, yeah, if it's, you know, if it's like a 50% war score deal, then it just means a shorter truce now. That is one of the logics with this truce timer changes, is to make it so that there's a point to not fighting to 100% war score every time. And that would be a point. I do need bourbon if I want to uh, have my name be straighter, though. We'll do more little sieges. More score technically going down a little bit. The important thing is to not lose any footage to Austria. We don't want them to feel good about the war in any way whatsoever. On the Siege of Barry. Nice. Now you guys can go here. Actually, let's, let's focus on Bobon. I know we don't have a claim on it, but that's okay. 
It makes her name look better. We're losing a hell of a lot of money. We're going to be taking out another loan in a second. Er, that's really annoying. To the point where we may have to just make a move over there. Oh, especially if you're moving away to Lombardia. Yeah, that'll give me enough time to potentially just win this whole fight. Let's go and wipe these guys out super fast. Yay, more conversions. Do I have 100% religious unity? Oh. Ah. Darn it. So close. That still leaves me with over 10 guys. Yes, good. So I get the full siege bonus going on over here. Squash these guys quick and be interesting to see if these guys react or if they're going to go to the French territories. Looks like they're going to the French territories. What the hell is that? No. Oh, rebels. Um, yeah, actually, I do have some rebels, and it might just be worth buying them off. Oh, these are... Heretics. Are those those guys? No, Cosmopolitan Patriots. Where are the heretics? Whoa! Look at that. Didn't expect that. Okay, I guess I did get a message about it at some point. Um, Salamanca and... Oh, so this is all... Here? Oh no, this is just chance of popping. That's not my active rebels. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm being a derp. Might as well keep rolling with the death stack. Good, good. And actually... Oh, the leader guy's there. Actually, I can pull him back over here and go for, for, um, for Vienna. That might be a thing to do. Okay, just finish the siege. As soon as it ticks, we'll see if we can negotiate peace, because they are coming for me. We'll get another little battle there. Not actually against Austria. Come on, come on, come on. Sixteenth in the Moors, but that's still fine right now. And then, so on nineteenth, we'll stop it and then see what we can get. Okay, done. Uh, we'll take the trade because we're about to peace out again. All right, Austria, let's see what we can get. There's a long war. We are going to be able to split them in half. That's actually really cheap peace deal wise. Why? Is... Wow. I guess that's the thing. This time we'll probably go for the stuff that's the least war score. Hmm, we can't get both of the French stuff. Well, we'll take Barry because we've got a claim. And yeah, we'll take random overseas stuff. Interesting, they wouldn't go for 44%, but they'll go for 42%. Huh. Bourbon is too much. All right, so we take the, the war goal, two things we have a claim on, and everything that's dirt cheap, and a little bit of cash. Sounds good to me. We're even ceding uh, this to the Netherlands. But it should flip over. We probably don't even have to core everything. Well, we may have to. 150% overextension is pretty big, but a lot of it will be cheap. 
Done. 150% overextension for a 43 war score deal and 34% war score in the actual war itself. We also hurt people a lot. A quick look at what we've actually got. Yeah, only 68% because a lot of it uh, I think was held or instantly flipped to, yeah, other holdings. There, that, that works out very nicely, actually. These are expensive as hell. That's all right. We're going to have you guys stand on Barry. We're going to have merge you. Stop, split in half, go there. We'll still actually need to get you guys to split a little bit more. Like that, to not get attritioned. We can... Oh, let's work on converting Wessex now. Probably, actually, we will want to stand some troops on there. So that they're in place for a rebellion. We'll send you to Co. We can uh, potentially fire a leader. I think Hugo needs to go. Oh, you're not assigned to anyone. Perfect. There we go. Not spending anything extra. It was a long war. We spent a lot of manpower, although, honestly, we killed more enemies than anything else. Oh, we do have some rebels over here. Navarro Nationalists. I think one of these guys aren't moving. You're just moving there. Good. We'll give you haunts, and you can go and clear those guys out. Lovely. It's the one hostile siege there, which is fine. What are these guys? Oh, there are more transports. You can meet up there. Now, you are not a trade fleet. Tell you what, though. I'll have all these guys meet up over there. You're fine where you are. You're fine where you are. These are not actually mini transports. Just regular transports. Some of which actually need to stay here to ferry people across to Wessex. Alright, well done. Good show. And we have some invin points left over. We could throw in and work towards finishing innovative ideas. Probably isn't a terrible idea. We're making... 188! We went from losing a lot of money to making a lot of money. We haven't even disbanded our mercs yet, which we're going to have to take a peek at. Uh, I think I'll actually save up for the land clearance, because the 10% production efficiency is going to be pretty sexy. Um, we don't need a 38 stack in Barry. I mean, we do need people to stomp out rebels, but we don't need quite that much. Oh, here. Let's uh, detach the mercs for one. 30 stack might be too much, but you know what? We'll leave it there. That's fine. We don't even have that many mercenaries. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Actually, I'll move you over to there. Probably still not needing that many troops. We could war against Ming some more. Or actually, Brunei would be very nice. Are you westernized or anything like that? No? That group Chinese? Because that could be a thing. Just for uh, more power in the uh, Malacca trade node. Because right now we're at 15%, which is not much. Although, that's with some overextension. We'll land over there. Consider that for the future. We need another advisor. <sighs> trade efficiency, certainly. And we have a bunch of diplomats, so let's make sure that we have fabricated some stuff over here. Fabricate there. Um, fabricate here. I'm going to fabricate more stuff on France. And uh, Denmark, I'm so happy you got back your northern bits here from the Hansa. That makes me feel great. Uh, we actually should like each other relatively. Did I not set up a royal marriage? Oh, my royal marriages, I don't think they last as long. 
Maybe I'm misremembering something. I may not have actually gotten that, but I think we could be friends. Sweden hates me. Not that much, though. Really? We could come around that. Norway, same thing. This, this all manageable. I think, uh, I think I could make friends with the Scandinavian nations, which would be handy. Russia hates me quite a bit more. Oh, rivaled. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Uh, give me land clearance. Bam. 10% more production efficiency. It's a very good thing. Oh, what happened to my balance? Wasn't I making like 180 a second ago? Maybe just something else kicked in, like, or wasn't being calculated properly. Probably it. Or I misread something. Not that that ever, ever, ever happens. But yeah. Do, do, do. You're moving there. Okay, so my big fleet. Be nice when we can mothball the heavies. Right now, the light ships, half of you guys, be pretty damaged, are going to work the uh, London trade node. And then... No. Go away, Austria. And the Lubeck trade node is another place I want some power. London and Lubeck. Not bad. We can build stuff, making money, we'll have to pay off those loans, expand trade company. Yeah, okay, we can look into doing this. Where's Tongren? I should have checked that first before agreeing. Oh, that's a Chinese thing. So give us a claim. I think that's a thing that could happen. What's the timer at? I got to put a pause in here. Uh, let's grab you guys. We're going to go across to Wessex where we're trying to convert things. And we'll probably get rebellions. Um, we've taken care of that. I think what I'm going to do is ferry this group of 31 over with my big transport fleet. Wait, what happened? Oh, they were still repairing. You derp. Split. Protect. Lubeck. Protect. London. He sat in like... Yeah, tier... Uh, you know what? We really do want to stay defensive in the mountains. We split you in half, move you over here, use that to squash that, and then come back. Yeah, that'll be better. Oops. All right, my other, my other uh, transports. Merge you, we're going to hit you over there, and then come back to Trent. They have nationalism, that kind of nonsense, and we're trying to core and do that. Okay, uh, I think this is a good place to put in a cut. We're going to consider maybe going to war against the Ming just to expand our trade holdings over there and try to make the trade companies happy. Um, there's a lot of orange on the map. The somewhat or uh, ugly borders, but it's mostly ugly for other people. It's like Castile just sitting here feeling bad. Has been feeling bad for a really, really long time. France like this. I mean, it does suck that we have to fight these gargantuan coalitions to keep advancing. Um, but, you know, we did sort of bring it on ourselves. But, um, yeah, we'll have to decide what direction we want to go into. I mean, the coalitions are never going to fade away at this point. They hate us. They're going to hate us until the end of the game. Uh, so we either have to keep fighting coalitions or wars over here. Or we um, we just work at expanding somewhere else and then sort of forget things over here. It would be nice if the coalitions weren't quite so, like, hated or full of hate about me. Uh, I could distract myself from some wars here until people left the coalition, but that's really, really, really unlikely to happen. I mean, maybe a few of the little German states, but honestly, they might get pulled in from for different reasons anyway. You know, like, some of these weren't in, in the coalition, I suppose. That's true. Depends on how close they were. That's a lot of aggressive expansion. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. I don't know. Anyway, that is enough for uh, for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.